All right, got a light switch. Temperamental light switch. You, know, you have to really push it, really click it. Let's see if I can fix it just by loosening and adjusting. Gonna loosen the two set screws and so see if we can take the screwdriver, take this end, push it so it's straight. See if it's kind of sit kind of crooked. Uh, seems maybe it's worse. Let's tighten it up and see what happens. Yeah, it's definitely worse. Don't worry. Okay. Well, that's why I got new ones. Because I just run into a few lemons with these. Uh, with the new one, I like to check in the package to make sure it's good. Before I install them, because I just ran into so many of these. I got the power on right now, so I'm gonna see what's going on here. Definitely is. Well, there's wire. And, well, well, it's still alive, so it's crazy. But you can see how our quick wire goes in. Yeah, it's locked in. We have a lot, a lot holding it in. So I'm just gonna turn off all the power, all the breakers. Power coming in on the bottom. This particular one actually uses a, a black for the line. This is the line, this is the load. So, I'm just going to go into the quick connect port. Now, quick connect port. There we go, got a nice click. Looks like everything should work out good there. Speed things up with a drill if you've got a drill handy. Okay. 
so when the flash overheated, that's the perfect timing for me to turn the power back on. Now we can check it out here and turn things off. There's the light. Now we don't have to bang it so much. I like these to just pop out just a little bit. The trick is not to set them in too deep. And set all our screws up nice and vertical. And if it's crooked at all, then we can use, I take my screwdriver off and then just push it over a little. That. That's about how I like to have it recess. The outer portion of the switch just sticks out just a tiny bit. Nice, nice finish. And yeah. But there it is. Lights are working. Now it's like a shed. And here was the inner workings of the screw. So you can see it's got. The deal where the captive portion of the wire goes through just grabs in that wire right back there. Too bad my flash is overheated. But yeah, same on the bottom. It's got kind of a spring against it, so and then when you push the the release tab. It pushes that against that spring. The square hole is the release tab, the round one, the, the wire and set. It's got a little bit of a tooth to it where it comes from. push it to release the spring and the way the flat portion would bite on the wire a little bit when you poke it through. Kind of interesting to see the inner workings. And see here on the rocker. When the rocker went wrong. Okay, I found the part that was missing on these is the little point deal. So you just got that point there. This gets set down in here and this moves like that. So, okay. And then this would go in like so. And this one, it broke, broke apart here and here on the screws that hold that anyway. So it's a done broken deal, but that's that's the inside view of the rock. Okay, let's take a look inside a rocker switch. A new one. The one that's not broken. In the name of science. There we go. Um, let's see, this is the top. I'm going to put a little dot and that's the top. I can wipe it off. And let's go ahead and separate this here. See, there's a bar inside there, and 
when you push it up, it engages that leverage and makes the connection between this side of the deal to the top. So that's what I needed to know. So here it is inside. When the deal is pushed up, it presses on this bar here, which connects, makes the connection from both sides, from the bottom to the to the top of the screw. Line to the load. Yeah. And there's the new deal that gets clamped around that. Let's see if we can assemble this back together. Yep, yeah, there we go. There it is, click down, click that. Here it is down, not connected. Okay. So nothing's touching on the contacts that are right there. See? And then if we put it on. And click it. There we go. And I think now the contacts will be connected. Yeah. There we go. You can see right here. Just that little contact right there. So it just pushes on this deal. It makes contact. Anyway, that's an inside view of the rocker switch. So it makes the connection from the bottom path of incoming hot wire, and then this is the top line wire, or the load wire, sorry, load. This is the incoming line, and then when it's switched on, like that, then it, then it connects to the load. So you've got an incoming power, like for a light, and when it's switched on, it makes connection across the point, to the top wire which goes to the light. Line and load. That's inside view of the rocker switch. This one could be put back together. It's not really worth it, but anyway, that's how they work. And can you fix one of these if it was broken? Maybe. Probably not worth it though. As cheap as they are. Here's this one. So you'd have to hold these two together and this one with the black dot is the top. So here's the top that has the ground screw. So I'm going to slide it into the bottom part as it's not quite as bent. There we go. And then we have to bend this back. Like that. Both of these. Put in the screws. could fix it. I mean, you could use a, a meter, continuity, and just make sure that when it's up that it has continuity, and when it's down, there's no continuity. And you have to clean up a little Sharpie deal, a little goof off. Isn't that better? So yeah, that's how you could fix one. Now, again, I wouldn't recommend it. I'd just recommend it for some You'd have to take it off, separate 
with those two screws, make sure everything is oriented correctly for the points and the deal. And yeah, is it possible? Maybe. <laughs> is it worth it? No, I don't think so. It's better to replace it with a new rocket switch. You get a lot of, unfortunately, quite a lot of lemons with these.